Rawr! Rawr! Hello! Welcome to Explore Kids Online! Rawr! It's alright, we're here. You don't have to be <laughs> frightened by this dinosaur. That's not Ooh, even scary. It's not even scary. Why have we shown you this dinosaur? It's because we're showing we're showing you this dinosaur because this dinosaur was obviously made, okay? And uh, you can probably tell that it was made by someone who was quite young. I wonder who that could have been. <laughs> who was that, Ellie? Me. Who made that? Do you want to hold your dinosaur a second? So you made that dinosaur when I was three years. When old. you were about three years old, we think, yeah. So a long time, a long, long, long time ago now. But you know, the fact that you've made it means that it's special to you, isn't it? And it's special to uh, to me and Ellie's mum as well because, because Ellie's made it. It's absolutely fantastic. And today we want to talk all about how God made everything, including you and me, because he's a creator God. He's the creative God. And because... He's the creative God and because he's made this world and he's made this universe and because he's made you and me, then um, that means that we are super special and important to him. And that's something that we want to remember and that we want to make sure that we believe. And we're, right now we're going to have a song that talks all about that. And again, it's one by Nick and Becky Drake. We love them. We think they're absolutely brilliant. We used we... them for the last couple of videos. We have, yeah. So we hope you enjoy this one too. Here you go. We're 
What an absolutely great song and how great to be celebrating our creator God who made everything. And like, we, like our song last week, last time, uh, we mentioned that you can go on and you can find fantastic actions to, to, to the song. You can find fantastic actions to do along to that song as well if you want to, if you go, just look on YouTube. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I'm going to talk about the fact that God is creator God. And I've got some pictures that are going to appear on the screen um, all about what the time when God made the world and the order in which he made it and the way that he made it. And um, it's a great story and you find it right at the beginning of the Bible in the book of Genesis. And it says that the very first thing that God made was, he said, in the beginning, God created the heavens on the, and the earth, and the very first thing he made was light and darkness. So I know this song that a friend of mine, John Andrews, wrote. It goes like this. It goes, on the first day of creation, our God said, let there be light that all may see. It is the Christmas song. You are absolutely right. It is the Christmas. It's to the tune of the 12 days of Christmas, but it's actually the six days of creation. And that's the very first thing that God made. He made light and darkness, or rather he made light, and then it says he separated the light from the darkness so that there was day and night. Um, yeah. And then there was some time, some, some parts of the, oh, steady. Some parts of the day were light and some parts of the day were dark. So he created light and then he separated the darkness that was already there and with the light so that they were separate and that was day one and God saw that it was good okay fantastic on the second day of creation our God let said let there be heavens above earth below and light that all may see. So second day of creation, God made, it says he made the heavens and the earth. What that really means is he made the sky and he made the land. And he set and he also made the sea and he separated the land from the sea. So we had dry land and so that we had oceans. Pretty cool. That was the second day of creation. So and then on the third day of creation, here we go. On the third day of creation, our God said, let there be flowers and trees, heavens above, earth below, and light that all may see. I nearly forgot it then. That would have been a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? So the next, it says on the third day of creation, God created all of the plants and all of the flowers and all of the trees. And... Um, on the trees there would have been probably been fruit on the trees and uh, and so that suddenly the world was starting to look really really beautiful okay next one on the fourth day of creation our god said let there be sun moon and stars well, that's, that's what a lot of people don't understand, because how could you have light and darkness, and how could you have flowers and trees if you didn't have the sun? But it says that God created the sun on the fourth day, the sun, the moon, and the stars. And of course, we, we now know that our, our sun is, is a star, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Um, so technically, it was the moon and stuff. Well, that's right. So... Um, so look, um, it is hard to understand because we do have we do understand certain I things. I assume as light as the sun. Mm. What's important to understand though is that the Bible is not a science book. The Bible is a book that tells the story of God, and so it doesn't try to explain how things happen. It just tells us that they did. And there is this fantastic. Uh, bit in the Bible right at the end of the Bible which talks about what it will be like in the future and it says that in this perfect kingdom that God's going to one day make there'll be no sun because they don't need it because God is the light himself and so I don't know whether right at the beginning of creation that's how it worked but 
We just trust the Bible when it says, fourth day of creation, sun, moon and stars. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's keep going. On the fifth day of creation. Here we go. On the fifth day of creation, our God said, let there be many fishes swimming, many birds are flying, sun, moon and stars, flowers and trees, heavens above, earth below, and light that all may see. And every day God was saying, this is really good. I love my creation. This is really good. Okay, sixth day of creation. On the sixth day of creation, our God said, let there be man who I delight in. Many birds are flying, many fish are swimming, sun, moon and stars. Heavens above, <laughs> earth below. No, hang on. Flowers and trees, heavens <laughs> above, earth below, and light that all may see. And everybody's saying, don't go into singing, Pete, stick with your day job. Right. <laughs> and um, actually, that last line in that song's a little bit misleading because, yes, it is fantastic that God on that day made human beings and said that this is the best part of my creation. Um best part of my creation and you can perhaps see them on that picture there little they're shadow figures a little black black yeah. silhouettes they're yeah. called of, of people but they're what else can we see that god created on the sixth day um giraffes yeah that's a dinosaur that is a dinosaur that but is then a they dinosaur got <laughs> they did they did but um lions elephants parrots. yeah all the animals in fact were all created on that sixth day alongside people in fact they were created first and god looked at all the animals and said I'm not they're great but i've not quite got what i want because he wanted no 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 giraffes good but not quite what god wanted because what he wanted was was someone that he could have a relationship with someone he could know someone that could um, that could talk to him and relate to him and and love him and um and that's how people came in that's why god created people and that's what he did on the sick on the sixth day and uh, fantastic and god saw that it was good and then the last the last day of creation wasn't really a day of creation at mm. all it was a day when god rested uh -huh. on mm -hmm. the seventh day and when he did that he taught us just how important it is to take time out and to have a rest and not just to keep doing things all of the time, but our bodies actually need to rest and relax sometimes. And he showed us that by resting himself. But don't fall asleep on me now, will you? No. <laughs> no. Okay, brilliant. So that is but the story not of all creation. People will relax on, um, on Sundays. Some people will do it other days. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because that's you true. can't really rest on a no, okay. no, no, no. The, I mean, you know, you're getting into a whole big area yeah. of teaching that, uh, that, that, that we don't really want to talk about now. <laughs> but you're absolutely right. The important thing there is actually that we learn how to rest mm -hmm. and we la learn how to take time aside. And also that we, that we take time aside every day to spend yes. with God, um, not just one day a week. Um, but, uh, but yeah, rest is really important. Mm -hmm. Now... As we said right at the end there, the um, the the best part of the of his creation, said God, was what? Uh, Us, yeah, people, human beings. Okay, and uh, God made human beings, and He says this is the best bit of my creation. I mean, that's quite incredible, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. He created sun, the moon, the universe, but the best thing, the thing that He thought was the best thing of all was us human beings and do you know what each one of us is still made by God those original human beings were but actually we're still made by God the Bible says he puts us together inside our mum's tummies when we're when we're growing and um, that's an amazing thing that we're made by God and that makes us really special there's a verse in the Bible here it comes oops gone again <laughs> There we go. 
It's Psalm 139, verse 14. It says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Or if you want to put that in a slightly different way, I praise you because you made me in a brilliant and amazing way. Does full well make sense? I mean, it mean, full well means I understand it completely. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I praise you because I'm fearfully, amazingly and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that completely. Absolutely brilliant. And it's a verse from the Bible that talks about how special we are. Don't ever forget that. You are really important. You are really valuable because God made you and God loves you. And um, it doesn't matter what anybody else might say about you. What It's what God says that's important and what we're saying here that's important. That you are special, that you are valuable, that you're precious. God made you and he didn't just make you, he made you like him. The Bible says that he made us in the image of God. In other words, he made us like him. That's fantastic. Okay, we've got one more thing to do, something we do every time, and that is to make a craft. And we've been talking about the, the days of creation. So what I've got here is a fantastic kind of bendy, concertina, foldy uppy picture that you can make with all the days of creation on it so you can see we've got light and dark we've got um the uh the sky and the the sea then we've got the land then we've got the sun moon and stars the birds and the fish and then this picture doesn't have any animals on it it just has the people on it um but, but you can, can draw you animals. definitely in fact you're going to see us coloring these pictures in but remember like we always say you might want to get a bit more creative about that if you've got animal stickers or stickers of fish, or stickers of birds, or stick, a sticker of the sun, or, or things like that. Or you can cut out pictures from from a magazine or something that you're, make sure you're allowed to do that first, won't you? Um, but that kind of thing, you can stick them on, and uh, you can really get creative and make a really fantastic bit of artwork if you're feeling creative, and you, um, you can do that. But we're going to show you how to make the basic form of it first so gonna tilt um gonna tilt the screen down so you'll lose our faces again just so that, as normal so you can just see the artwork so there's the table and what you need first of all is you do need those but actually perhaps the white bits of paper first okay so here's the white bits of paper and the very first thing you want to do you want a white you want white bits of paper you want some sellotape and you want some other coloured paper that you cut into strips, okay? But white paper first, and the very first thing you do is you fold the paper in half. Now I say that not because you have to fold the paper in half, you could actually avoid that bit, but I think it makes it easier to be able to work yeah. on one half of the paper at a time. And then once you've folded the paper in half, you're right with that. Do, now. do you want me to do that for you? It is a bit difficult. It doesn't have, it remember it. Remember, it also doesn't have to be perfect. But there you go. Folded that in half. Then open it back up again like I have. And then work on each side. And basically you want to fold the um, the bits of paper, the, the two sides of paper both into three. Now, don't worry about getting them all the same. It really doesn't matter. But if you want to get it perfect and the same, well, you're going to have to measure it out with a ruler. Okay? But we're not going to do that because I don't think it's impossible, important. So, so fold it over like that. Okay? And then turn the paper over. Oh, you meant to turn fold well, the paper over. Yeah. I didn't do that. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. But it helps yeah. because it makes it already concertina for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What you'll need to do, perhaps do is just find that fold that you've just made and fold it back over the other way like that, okay? Okay, it helps, you know, it, it actually helps you to get it a little bit more the same if, if, that's, if that's what you want to do. And then on the other side, you do exactly the same thing. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get, it, get them all the same size. 
it's just um, but then fold that to the middle like that okay and you've got your concertina shape okay and that's what you're going to draw your pictures on and um, if you can pass us some uh, some cut some felt tips please Ellie that would be brilliant fantastic we'll put those in the middle have you got your your paper didn't work hey didn't work uh you have that one okay okay and then I'll quickly I'll quickly um I'll quickly do that it is a bit tricksy <laughs> but just keep trying that's the important thing mm -hmm. if you don't get it straight away just keep trying and fold it or ask for some help if you need to there's nothing wrong with asking a grown up or someone else to help you with that and then what you've got is you've got your your concertina picture and you need to draw the different scenes now as i say we're not telling you what to draw okay you can draw whatever you think you might like Sorry, what? This is the first thing because there's one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six oh, days of creation. Yeah. We haven't got the seventh when God rested. Yeah. Okay, we've just got the seven day the six days of creation. Oh. Now I would recommend that you get a pen and you just mark out along the lines. You might want to use a ruler to do this. Okay. Just draw a line along all of your folds so that as you're as you're drawing your pictures, you can clearly see the space that you've got to work with. Now, it also, I think, makes it look fantastic at the end and gives it real a real sense of definition, which is really good. Okay? And then, you simply want to draw your pictures on here. So, First day, on the first day of creation, our God said, let there be light that all may see. And you're simply going to draw, um, you separated the light from the darkness, you're simply going to split it in half, and then using a black or a dark coloured um, felt tip, just colour that in. I'm only going to do it roughly because of time, okay? Okay, and um, and I'm not going to colour in any of my pictures either um, to show you this like I did before um, because of time. Okay, and that's the first that's the first day you colour in that, and that's day one. On the second day of creation, our God said, "Let there be heavens above, earth below." So you want to draw the sea and the sky. So you can do that by just doing a kind of a wiggly line. Can you see? I'll show you in a minute what I've done. A wiggly, wavy-like set of lines. Oh, you can't see it at all. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And then, obviously, and then you might want to draw some clouds in the top. Okay. And then you want to colour that in. And it obviously doesn't matter what what colour you colour the sky in, the sky is usually blue, but you certainly want to colour the sea in blue. That's because, um, you know, you want the sea to be blue. Unless you want to draw a really psychedelic, weird looking picture, because that might be fun, in which case you can pick whatever colours you your like. Make fancy line. Absolutely. Dead. Now on the third day of creation, um, God separated the light from the darkness, uh, sorry, the, the land from the sea. <laughs> so, uh, do you know what? I must be tired. Okay, so again, you want a squiggly line for your C, which you can't, again, you can't see because I'm holding it in the wrong place. There you go, just like that. But this time, this time, draw some land. Now, you can just do a straight line or you can draw some sort of a mountain type shapes like that. Okay, looks a bit like a bottom, but never mind. <laughs> Um, and um, and then maybe you want to draw some mountains in the back, in the back. But you know what? It's your picture. You can draw whatever you like. Okay. But I've drawn some 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 mountains. You drawing some mountains. And then you might want another cloud in the sky. It's entirely up to you. Don't draw the sun 
yet, by the way, because of course it's not there yet. Okay, then on the fourth day of creation, it was sun, moon, and stars. So you want to draw the sun. Okay, I'm just going to draw it slightly differently than the way I did it on my original one. Okay, the sun. And then you can draw the moon, a lovely crescent moon that looks like a giant banana. <laughs> So you're technically drawing a banana, yeah. but without the detail. And then draw some nice stars. Now, there's two ways of drawing stars. You can either draw some five-pointed star, a five-pointed star, like I just did there, or you can do a six-pointed star, which is really easy if you struggle a bit yeah. with drawing, because you could to, cause to draw a six-pointed star... I've got star, a fancy star. <laughs> oh, I love that. Because to draw a six-pointed star... <laughs> You draw a triangle, and then over the top you draw another triangle, like that. Can you see? Okay. And they're both ways of drawing stars, oh. so you can do that. I'm doing fancy. My Sun, own stars. moon, and stars. Then um, on the on the what what are we at? The fifth day of creation. Now you want um, the birds and the fishes. So again, you want a nice kind of sea squiggly line, okay, because you need the sea. And then in the sky, draw some birds, which are really very simple. You just draw a, a line and a line. Can you see what I've done? It looks like a bird um, or the shape of a bird. One, two. One, two. And you've got some birds there. And then down below, of course, you want to draw a fishy shape. I'm sure you know how to draw the shape of a fish. So that's fine. How are we doing for time? Oh, gosh. A lot of time. We've taken up a lot of time today. But we're nearly finished. Okay. Then the last one, of course, you don't need to have any, any, any sea on this one. But you do want some land. Okay. You want to draw... The people who, by the way, were called Adam and Eve. Try oh, some oh, way. Boy. Try some way to um, to to demonstrate that they uh, a girl and a boy, a man and a woman. Um, just long hair at the back of the lady might might do that for you, okay? And uh, maybe you might might want to do a tree, okay? And uh, you might want to put some of the, some of your birds in the sky as well. And of course, you might want to draw some animals on there as well. Okay, I'm not going to draw any animals, um, uh, but you can draw some animals on there as well. And then, of course, you want to be colouring it in. And um, so uh, we've just done black and white, but you want to be colouring it in. Oh, you've done a butterfly. Oh, I love it. Can you? Can everyone see Ellie's butterfly? Yeah. I think that's awesome. Look, hang on, there we are. Butterfly. <laughs> butterfly, butterfly. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Okay. And then, of course, you want to colour it in like I did this one, using felt tips or crayons or... Um, anything, really. Anything, really, that colours in. Okay. And then the final thing you want to do is mount it. You're not using a picture frame as such. What you want is... How do you do it? <laughs> it doesn't matter right now, anyway. Um, there you go. What you need are two strips of coloured paper. paper. And I did... Oh, mine are over here. You, you have those. And um, uh, I've already cut these. You'll obviously have to cut these out yourself. Now, make you need to make them bigger, okay? Can you see they're they're bigger, okay, um, than the? If you don't quite make them big enough, like I don't think I have, you might just have to sort of um, make sure you leave yourself a little bit of an edge, okay. Then you want some sellotape. Look, like that. Yep. Let's see if this tears nicely. No, it won't. Can you pass me those scissors, Elf? Pen on floor. Don't matter. That's uh. not how you cut sellotape. Let me hold it. No, I don't want to chop <laughs> your fingers off. 
Right, okay. So I'll do Ellie's, okay. Um, just stick stick it down like that. I know, never mind. <laughs> just fold it over if that happens. Okay, that's one side, and then the other, the next side, again. So I, we, I, I've, it seems that I've cut these, um, these purple strips a little bit small. You want to make them, you can make them as big, big as you want, <laughs> big and chunky as you want, because um, so that the, the whole of the, the first strip uh, and the last strip goes on top, but you have a nice border around the outside. Just yeah. like that. Look at that. And then, as I say, that's the one. That's really good. And there's the coloured in version that I did um, that I did earlier. And it reminds you about the six days of creation, how God made everything, and most importantly, how he made you. And that makes you really special. This has been the longest um explore video online we've been over half an hour now so we better finish off now so we're going to do so do, we're going to pray it, right? and then we're going to say goodbye and uh, you guys take care mm -hmm. and have a great week but let's pray together shall we mm -hmm. okay here we go father god we thank you so much that you made this amazing world that we live in and gave it to us as a gift but thank you lord that we remember it's your world and we need to look after it and take care of it and take care of each other because you said the best part of your creation was us, us human beings, and you love us and you cherish us and you see us as special and important. And, um, and because you love us, um, we need to look after each other and we love you back, Lord. And so thank you, Lord, and help us to remember just how important and special we are to you because you made us in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Brilliant to see you. You have a great week and uh, we will see you again. Take care. Bye. Bye.